Just in time for back to school, moms across the country are complaining about the fashion world's message for our daughters. Some say retailers appear to want girls to dress trashy by selling clothes that draw attention to their looks and their sexuality instead of their brains. So what's really going on here? Zerlina Maxwell is a Democratic strategist and contributor for Ebony.com. Didi Benke is a GOP strategist and blogger with RedGirlsSalon.com. Liz Stern is a parenting blogger with DivaMoms.com. Welcome to you all. Thank you. Happy to be here. All right, Zerlina, I'll start with you. Um, in, in particular, there's one t-shirt that's gotten a lot of uh, attention lately from the Children's Place, and it talked about subjects that I'm great in, and they were all kinds of things, and then at the ba bottom, math was left empty. They got a lot of backlash for that, and they pulled it. So right. is that a good enough solution? I think that's a good solution, but I think overall in our society, we have an overemphasis for girls and women on how they look. And there's nothing wrong with looking nice, but I think that the overemphasis on appearance and vanity and, and uh, teaching girls that vapidity is, mm -hmm. is a positive trait and not substance and knowledge and being smart. And you can be beautiful too, but it shouldn't be emphasized, you know, as the most important thing. Does anybody think that these kind of messages are encouraging girls to sort of play dumb, like I'm cute and I can't figure anything out, but you know, Didi, you're shaking uh, your head no. no. I don't have a problem with the t-shirt. I thought it was cute. I hate math. I didn't see that there was a problem with celebrating the other things. What, it's okay, not okay for girls to like shopping, for them to play dress up, to have Barbies. I mean, I think we're way too politically correct on this. You can't put them in a politically correct Petri dish. I mean, it, it is what it is. They're cute t-shirts, it's okay. Okay, but we don't see that for boys. We right. see things like they're superheroes, right. they're firefighters, they're tough guys. Uh, you know, I think of the one place that had onesies for babies, and it's the one said, smart like daddy, pretty like mommy. <laughs> Oh, I mean, what about smart like mommy? Right. I mean, you know. I also think too, it comes back to that these brands should really think about their messaging and about empowering these young girls to be smart and to also be beautiful, to be smart and to be powerful. It's not just you know, I, I wear diamonds or I'm a beautiful, so I don't have to do well in school. Or it really, should, we need to send out that message to girls that. Being beautiful also equals being smart and being powerful and being educated and empowering these girls to really think about, you know, more than just their beauty. Of course, yes, these girls want to look beautiful, but there's so much more to this. And I feel like it's also a brand's responsibility to kind of come in and also, you know, help Let's show that, Brad. Let's show that as well. Okay, we have some other t-shirts that we want to show too. So, I mean, some of them, honestly, we can't even put on TV. They're that bad. But this one's sort of borderline here. Who needs <laughs> brains when you have these? The words are going across a very key portion of the anatomy there. Um, these are from, you know, past controversies. Uh, a lot of these shirts aren't still out there anymore. But bottom line question, somebody is buying these. Retailers don't put stuff on the shelves that doesn't sell. They're not in the business of losing mm -hmm. money. So, Didi, is it okay for parents to buy these shirts for kids? I have kids? no problem with it. Look, I mean, the, the retail, really, you're okay no, with look, parents buying those shirts well, for kids? I don't think that those shirts, those look like shirts for big girls, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I wouldn't wear it, but if you want to wear it, that's your free speech. If you want to wear a shirt like that, so be it. And I don't think you should be, you know, jumping on the retailers for that. Because you're right, they are selling. Yeah, it's they're selling it. People are buying it. We're all Americans. We can do whatever we want. So be it. Well, 10-year-olds generally don't have the money and the, right, and the transportation right, right. to go to the mall and get this stuff for themselves. So somebody is buying it for them. Right, and parents, I think, Think, you know, need to be teaching their, yes. their daughters at a very young age that it, science and math are something that girls can excel at. You know, my dad's a microbiologist and he used to help me with my science homework and he wasn't like, you know, go play with your Barbie. I mean, that that's not, with with there's Barbies, nothing though. wrong with playing with your with Barbie, that. but I also wanted to do my math homework, go to college, go to law school mm -hmm. and excel. And it's, there's nothing wrong with looking nice. Everybody, you know, mm -hmm. people like to look nice. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. But I think that you can also study science and math and be Madam President in 2016. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe we we should start telling those shirts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, it's, and aside from the, the smart, not smart, ditzy kind of argument, so many of these retailers, it makes my blood boil because they have pictures that are so sexualized yes. and the age limits on these people, you don't know how old the people are in the ad, but many times mm -hmm. they're made to look very, very right. young. Right. Yes. American There's Apparel. I am talking to right. you. <laughs> and a lot of those ads that they have that are really the worst of the worst, we could never show them on TV here. Yeah. They're not in the U.S., they're in Europe and other places, but still that is, a, you know, a, a clothing company that is loved by teenagers and young people and even younger than that. And yet they have all kinds of pictures and messages that make our kids, male and female, look like nothing more than pieces of meat who just can't wait to go have sex with anybody who will have sex yeah. with them. Right. Well, I love American Apparel and they're American made. And you know what, you don't have to buy those, Shannon. You don't have to buy those ladies. I mean, just don't buy them if you don't like them. And that is up to the parents.
I also think it yes, it's the parents' responsibility, and as parents, we need to make sure that what we're buying our children is appropriate, and that's something that I think that more and more parents really need to recognize and say when they go into these stores, you know what, this T-shirt really isn't appropriate mm -hmm. for my nine-year-old girl or my ten-year-old right. girl. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe when she's in high school, ha ha, it's mm -hmm. a little funny, and if she likes the shirt, then she can go and buy it. But right now, I'm still the parent. I'm in charge. I have the spending power, and I'm going to make sure that my child are my child is not wearing these. Well, kind of well at least she has a shirt retailer. on because I mean, some of these catalogs. Not a whole lot of anything on a right, pair of socks. It's, it's, right. it's, it's almost like child pornography. Yeah. That is American. what it looks yeah. like. Yes. Yes. But I would say the other side of the free speech argument is that we have the right to also say this is not appropriate mm -hmm. for eight year olds. Absolutely. So I want my eight year old daughter, when I have a daughter in the future, if that's, you know, I'm blessed <laughs> yeah, but with that, um, to, to, to like science or... and math. It, it, there's, but there's nothing wrong with her wanting to be a superhero. Why are boys yeah, always right. the one right. being told you can be a superhero? Well, I see there are Wonder Woman shirts and there are superhero shirts too. I mean, they're out there. I mean, you know, I think it empowers little girls, I mean, if they wear shirts to say, I know I'm pretty, so what? That's okay. It's and okay to be pretty, but it's not okay to be, as you as all are. the most important thing. Being right. pretty is not the most important thing. Smart and but beautiful. That's always smart smart and beautiful. We Both like that. Good. And <laughs> free speech is a key to the core yes. of this country. Vote with your dollars. That's the end of Definitely. it. Vote with your yeah. dollars. Thank you all very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.